Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some more Sons of the Forest. And in the last episode, we um, we, came, we came to the location that we wanted to, uh, to build our base on. And now that we're here, we need to start building a house. Because it is very strange for me to end these episodes just standing next to, uh, next to my tent. So I really want to focus on getting a... Getting some sort of house built so we don't have to uh, have to worry about that. So um, yeah, we're gonna start off uh, this episode building the house. And uh, I was thinking of trying to figure out some kind of way of putting it over the waterfall, but now that I look at it, it's not as wide as I thought. And so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work, especially with the fish traps that we've got here. Um, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, so first off, we need to get some, some logs. Uh, so we're just going to hack down the tree here. And then I figure we put a log storage. Oh, where should we put it? I don't know where we where would put it, but yeah, we need we need something for Kelvin to move the logs into. So I think maybe just here looks about right. And we'll go for a we'll go for a large one. If we get rid of this stump, we could put it. Oh, we could just put it right here. That'll be good. Oh, we've got our first cannibals outside. Oh god, that gets rid of him. Yeah, we've moved your leg, mate. Now you can do now. You're screwed. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kelvin, please um, finish the structure. There we go. And uh, then we can get on with it. I'm pretty sure he's gathered all the sticks we need as well already, but I'm just going to grab a few because it's always good to have uh, have some on me. Um, there we go. Because we do need to look at getting a... Uh, what's the word? A pan. Yes, because we uh, I used them all. I'm, I'm, I'm silly at times. I'll just grab some out of here. There we go. That'll do. We don't need an out special yet. Uh, yes, because what I want to do is... One, get this made. And two, we need to make it in a way where it's going to be secure all year round. So uh, if this will let me... Actually, oh, forget, I shouldn't have done that. I want to do, look at this. Alright, so it'll tell me roughly how high something will be. But if I put a log in the ground, and if I line this up just right, there we go. Just like that. And then we line this one up. Just like that. That'll give us a good 90 degrees to follow this edge of the waterfall. And if I prop this end up. That should be now laid out correctly for us to do this. Yeah, there we go. Snap. And it's not going to let me snap onto that. No bother. We'll get that one built then. Okay, right, let's get some more logs.
Because I really, like, yeah, like I say, I really want to get the house finished. And I've got a really good idea of, uh, of what I want so far. My keyboard's just disconnected. <laughs> there we go. That'll fix the issue. Just, uh, yeah. So we're just going to get get a couple of trees down. Hopefully I haven't hit Kelvin with any of these trees falling. About to go down the waterfall. Should be just planks from here. There we go. But uh, will it let me put another one on before it's finished? No. No, it will not. There we go. So now it should let me. Yes, there we go. Right, so just a couple more logs. Did it did did Hopefully Kelvin will get this finished any second now. And then we can just chop the trees down and have him pick up the logs and bring them to the, uh, the storage there. And that'll let us focus on the blueprint and getting the, uh, getting the house built. And it should be a little bit quicker. We do need to really get a good uh, good food source. Oh, we've got a good food source. It's just a water source. Did we find... We did find a pot while we was on our way out. That's cool. Right, so what I'm going to do then is if I can find any rocks. That's a stone. There's a rock. That's a stone. Is I'm going to put a pile of rocks around this fire. We only had the one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I thought I'd, I thought I'd picked up a few more than that. Unless it's these little ones that I keep picking up. Which I'm going to pick up anyway because uh, when I make a bow. We'll have lots of little stones for, for arrows. We need to get uh, we need to get some feathers for that. Yeah, it's very exciting gameplay at the minute. <laughs> Stone. At least there's a good amount of uh, rocks and everything here. There's one, there's one. All right, I should have enough now. <clears throat> oh, he put some in the storage, didn't he? I may have forgotten about that. There we go. We've got that done. Um, I'm going to sacrifice a log. To make firewood. then having the uh, having the firewood on there it'll make the fire last last a lot longer especially with the stones around it if, if you want to make it last the longest you um, use a fireplace but that, that costs so many stones to just to build that like it, it's not it's not worth it for us yet but this is the best way to make your uh, make your fire last as long as possible and then we can just put a small 
Small little pile of fire logs just here, look. And that'll last us. We'll get the fire lit. We'll get the pot on there to make some fresh water. And then uh, we'll have... Um, I can't collect it from there. That's strange. Can here, though. There we go. And then we've got some fresh water. You know what? We can throw, throw this meat in there, can't we? We'll get a nice soup on the go. Uh, so we'll get a drying rack put up as well for this uh, this meat that we've got. Sorry, there's a fair few things that I need to do this episode I uh, didn't do in the last one. Oh, a nice flat surface. Not behind the uh, campfire. You know what, we'll pop it there for now. And then we'll just have to move it later on. And with it being close to the fire as well, it should make the meat dry out a little bit faster. Right. Uh, you, mate. I would like to get logs and fill the holder. Excuse me. He's off on his merry way already. I'm so glad that I did not hit him. I was watching, thinking it's going to hit him. Ah, oh, we are so low on stamina. We really don't have a lot of it. At least we're at level 7 now, at least, for strength. So, we're getting there. I right, don't want to chop down too many, uh, too many uh, log trees. Because I don't want too many logs on the ground they will start to disappear but this should be fine I have no idea what's going on with my voice today so I'm really sorry about that <coughs> oh, I finished that one as well oh well thanks Calvin you're a trooper lad all right let's get that one on that's two Oh, we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then I think one more there. The log storage is getting quite full now. I'm guessing a couple of the trees that I, uh, I, I topped fell down into it. Which is pretty good, because that's what I was aiming for. Which makes it a little bit easier. The good thing is now, with a constant supply of, uh, of logs being brought over, this should be a lot quicker for us to get done. Flying, didn't it? Uh, yeah, we could get away with one more. That's uh, that's a few more than I was expecting. I'm just hoping it's going to be uh, it's going to be wide enough, but not too wide that it um, obstructs everything. And as long as I can get everything that I want out of it, it'll be good. I want to try and keep as much of it on uh, over the waterfall as possible. Because then... 
it'll give me a bit more freedom uh, with the with the actual ground that we've got so far for anything else. Oh, there we go. That's that one done. Do you need a few more trees felling, Kelvin? Yes, you do. Right, let's get a few more trees down for Kelvin. Our pot of water should be uh, should be done. Get a bit more stamina back. Make it easier to chop the trees down. I was really hoping the sticky axe would uh, would have stopped after the after ch uh, going on to a proper save. There we go. Now we're cooking. Alright, now we've got some stamina back. Start chopping some trees down a little bit quicker. Get uh, one more downed, and then that should be should be enough for Kelvin. Heck, that stone stopped me from moving. Then, right, that should be plenty of logs for him to deal with. That blueprint's looking good there, so we'll get one there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Right, there we go. That'll give us an idea of how many uh, how many logs we're gonna need. that one because I don't know why it thinks it needs seven same with that one and then we'll just add them in so it'll just be a plank and a log I don't see why it needs that bottom one I really don't see it I'm going to leave it there though, but my theory was that I'm, I should be able to go three wide. And it's starting to get dark now, which is a bit annoying, so I was hoping to get this done before it got dark. No, didn't want that. I wanted the, rock, uh, the log. I hope that spare plank didn't wash away. I think it did. Oh no, it's on the top. I've got that's that one done. More done. Ah, oh, it's getting really hard to see now. I just need one plank. Have I got a log? No, I don't. There we go. That's that one done. And then we're going to close this 
Oh, Virginia's coming over. Hi, Virginia. Bye, Virginia. Right, so now that it's night time, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to bed, and then we'll be able to see what we've done so far. There we go. It's daytime. We'll have a quick uh, quick sip of our soup, and then we'll get some more uh, on the boil. I wonder if they've added uh, fish soup yet, where you can just add two two fish to the pan. Let's have a look. Uh, let's undo. It doesn't look like they've added it. Oh well. I don't think I got a tel any turtle shells, did I? Oh, I did. And I didn't get any of the rain catchers made. Classic me. Right, let's get um platform there and platform there and a platform there. Yes, it works out perfect. I'm so happy about that. We're gonna have lots of room down here for the uh, for the fishies, which is which is good because that was uh, that was one of my main concerns was that I'm um, not gonna have room to put the uh, to put the fish stuff. But it's worked out well. Uh, I can rest easy now. <laughs> uh, I think we need some more trees for Kelvin to uh, to gather up. So we'll just get this this one down here. So yeah, it's unfortunately for you guys, um, if, if those that don't like the the building aspect, um, he's first, I did say in the in the last episode. I'm sure I did. Um, that a lot of the a lot of these first episodes are going to be me building, um, but I want I want to make make sure that we get a good early a, a, you know a establishment, so we don't have to worry about anything in in later episodes, because then we can just focus on later on focus on the uh, exploration, because once we've got got to the point where we've got a an established very reliable fuel source then everything else just falls into place. We don't have to worry about anything at all then. And it'd just be like, oh, I didn't go out and uh, and stab a moose or whatever. And it's just a case of, oh, look, we've got rabbit hutches, uh, which I'd really like to get as well because they got added uh, quite recently. Uh, so if we can get a couple of them on the go, we've got food over winter all the time. We're not, not just the fish for um, on drying racks, which doesn't give you many uh, many bonuses whereas having uh, having ra lots of rabbits we can make boiled meat and that'll give us a uh, strength boost I forgot words for a minute then oh look at that we're up to 11 on the strength already we are going through this so quickly but this is the other thing as well, is building up a base as quick, quickly like this gives us a massive strength boner boost uh, for the cannibals. For when they come a-knocking. Because obviously, yeah, we, we had two come just then. Uh, well, yesterday. Game days. Um, so then, like, we took them out quite quickly, but if we hadn't have uh, established a, uh, an early base and started building we might not have had the strength to deal with them so we might have ended up coming off with low health you know anything because we, we don't have any armor yet to protect us so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of advantages to get uh, establishing a base very early besides the um, the strength uh, the food aspect. You get a, you end up with a constant supply of food. You end up with a, a higher comfort level because you've got a, a solid place to sleep. You know you're out uh, you're 
out of the rain and all that stuff, so you're a lot more comfortable. And fill the hole, mate. I know you filled it, but that's because I, I haven't been emptying it <laughs> as quickly. You're doing great, Calvin. We're all very impressed. Keep it up, buddy. Just feels nice to encourage him for a change. <laughs> the problem is with my accent, it always sounds like I'm coming off sarcastic to him, so... Yeah, I'm glad he can't, he, he can't actually respond. Oh, this is going to annoy me. All oh, the boards are the wrong way around, so I'm going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to change that. But yeah, uh, what we're going to do on the front is we're actually going to come out a little. So uh, we're going to get a couple more, couple more firewood, thankfully. Uh, let's just get these split and stacked up. Oh, it was Kelvin being a superhero. And we're gonna have some have some scran. Yeah, that is falling down. You are a div at times, aren't you, Kelvin? You you're not the brightest tool, are you? Oh. Get out. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, dispose of you. I mean, I probably should chop him up and make Greg, but I've only got the one pot. They're probably recon. Which is lucky for us. But could become a pain later on. Right. So next, I do want to come this way, but I want to get the house established first. So we're going to build a temporary staircase just here. Like that. Which will cover up his arm. Uh, I'm going to do a ramp. I'm going to do a ramp rather than stairs. I normally do stairs, but I kind of like the idea of a ramp. I just think it's a bit different, isn't it? So there we go. We've got our ramp. Yeah, even this one's a different way on. So I want the boards to go that way. So in, in, if that's the case, then all you have to do is just right click and it'll change the direction. Once you've uh, once you pulled them out, so like there we go, it uh, it changed. So we just pull them all out, like so. Uh, who else is the wrong way around? Pull that out, and then that'll give us uh, one for this end. You're not the wrong way, but I'm just doing this so I can get the middle logs. And then I can put them... If it'll let me. Come on, one of you. Ah, oh, I freaking hate this game sometimes. Right, why are you not? See, you let me do it at the... Oh, I don't know. I give up. I give up trying to make heads or tails of it. Alright, our champion has returned. Our lord and saviour, Sir Kelvin.
Right, that one has been removed. Right, right, let's pop on under and we'll get them ourselves. And we'll do it from underneath. Probably the easiest way of doing it. He says and spectacularly fails at it. I, I that that one's gonna stay. Um, no reason. No, it's not. All right, we got it. There we go. We got the log we wanted. So it's just one there. Because there's no point to him being there. As long as you got the logs around the outside, you're fine. Save yourself some logs. Right, now they're all facing the same way and my ADHD isn't going crazy. Let's get these gaps filled and then uh, we can start putting up the walls. Because like I say, this isn't going to be, we ain't going to just stop here. Once we've got uh, the house itself made, then we can focus on the rest of it. Because there's another part to this that I haven't disclosed with you guys yet. Because I've got a really cool idea in my head and I'm hoping we can hatch that plan in this episode or at least make a start on it so let's get the firewood put up there breakfast is going is still cooked uh, I don't know what word I was going for then But, uh, yeah, so we need one there. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, we just need to go all the way around the outside, apart from over at the front. That's right. So I think we may need to get uh, some trees fell, fell for uh, for Kelvin. Yeah, I don't know why you, you you seem to be ignoring all these, Kelvin. There's loads around there. Oh, well. There's it's probably some madness to his method. Alright, while we're hacking this down, quick sip of coffee. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so we uh, we need to get um, some traps set up as well for uh, for rabbits. But at the moment, we don't have uh, anywhere to keep them. So we'll need to sort something out with that as well. Sticks rolling away. So we'll just get a few more of these logs chopped and we'll move them a bit closer as well for Kelvin so it's a little bit easier for him. You know, we don't want to make it too difficult for him because then he'll go on, go on constant breaks. Because he's getting in more more steps than he wants to. Oh yeah, he's got he's got his Fitbit going and everything. He's keeping track of his step count. Don't want to do too many because then he'll probably try and bill us more. He's a crafty one, is Kelvin. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm going on about. 
It's like it's like a just like what should be slowly descending to madness. Alright, here we go, here we go. A few more. Christ, I'm gasping, aren't I? Alright, there we go. Yep, he's uh he's filling them up quite quickly now. Be nice if I could if I could get a balcony here as well. I think I think I know how to get that, but I'm gonna focus on focus on just getting four walls up, you know, four sides up, and then we can worry about the uh, how it looks later. Right, so that's as far forward as I want to come. At least for now, anyway. We can always expand later on. Right, there's that in place. We'll get these uh, these sides up here. Just like that. It's coming along quite nicely. And if I had the if I had the collection of stones already, I would have done the walls stone as well. But I'm I'm not going through that yet. That's that's a another episode Clark problem <laughs> to build up the stone collection. That's future Clark's problem. I, I hate that guy. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. And that one there. And that one there. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Now we can... Now, do we want to go across that way or long ways? I think we'll go... I think we'll go across. Because then I think we might be able to get away with not needing any... Um, Oh, come on, tiny stones, man. You're everywhere. When I don't want you, I always get you. And when I do need you, you're never around. There we go. That's some more there. In the middle. And then we can go poop and a boop. Calvin, where's our logs? Oh, we're running low, that's what. All right, let's get uh, a few more trees down. Oh, quickly. We are going right out now to get these logs. Come on, tree. Fall. There we go. Cool, cool. We're up to 16 strength now. We yeah, are flying through these strength levels. There we go. Another tree down. Let's, uh, let's do some of this side. Then, uh, might go a little bit better. There we go. That one down. I should have known that he was running out of logs with the fact that he was taking forever to get us some logs. Right, let's start moving them because I think um, I don't want to go more than 50 because the game limits uh, 50 logs on the ground, loose logs. It doesn't include ones in storage or ones uh, you know in place on structures. It it changes them, but these ones that are just laying on the ground, uh, yeah, you can only have a maximum of 50. 
And it's very hard to keep track of how many there is because some trees, you know, all the trees don't give you the same amount. So, like, it all depends on the on the height of the tree. So if you've got, like, a really tall one, like some of the ones over there, they might give you, like, seven or eight logs. Uh, and then some of the smaller trees... Um, have we got an example nearby? No, because all these are freaking ginormous. Like, that one there. That real tall boy. He'll give you loads of logs, that one. So, like, if you get a bunch like that, you can only realistically chop down five. Whereas if you get a bunch of the smaller ones, that, cause that might get, only give you three logs. You can, you can chop loads of them down. You don't have to worry about it for a while. But, yeah, where we are, we've got quite a lot of the, uh, of the taller trees. So we need to be a little bit more careful about the number of trees we chop down because it will just start removing logs. Right, here we go. We've got loads piled up over here for Kelvin. We're just going to get these last few and then we'll continue on with the house because I, I really want to get it done this episode. I really do. And having a good, uh, a good log supply is going to help keep that going quickly so there's a few more there we'll take a quick sip of, uh, of our boiled meat as well there we go we've got loads of logs stacked up for him now I'll have a quick sip of that just to keep our, our levels topped up there we go all right, now we can get uh, get cracking. So we'll get that one there, that one there. And then we'll just pour that up, that up, remove that. No, 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 I want to go that way. Uh, yes, it will let me remove the, the two in the middle. Cool, cool. My plan worked. Yeah, shockingly, I had a plan. I sometimes do. Especially when it, when it comes to building, I have a plan. Right, we'll get the walls up now. Because then we can get the windows knocked out. And then we can get the roof on. So, the roof, I'm not going to go for anything over the top or anything like that. It's just going to be a simple, nice simple roof. Uh, it's going to have two slope sides. And I might do slope corners as well. Because I've not done slope corners yet. Apart from when uh, when I was building the wall, that was the first time I ever did sloped sides. And you know what? They look pretty cool. I quite like them. It will... It will reduce the number of solar panels I can put on the roof. Which is one downside. But it will look a bit nicer. You know, uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the slope corners. I said I was gonna do it, so I am gonna do it. Stop being a wimp, Clark. Stick to your guns and do it. I'm just psyching myself up. Right, we're getting these uh these walls done pretty quickly, so this is pretty good. This is coming on nicely. I'm just keeping an eye on the time. We've been going for what forty five minutes? I don't want the episode to go over an hour. Definitely do not. And if it means if it means it being a two-parter for the house getting built, then unfortunately, that's what it'll be. But yeah, I'm going as quickly as I can. Uh, but at the same time, I want to make sure everything works out how I want it to work out. But I do. I. I I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be stuck when we have windows on this thing. Because when it when it freezes as well, I'm thinking we try. We're trying to extend that wall out a little bit, and then that'll give us a bit more room to make the house just one more wider. Uh, and then we'll have a we'll have a floating wall. But while it's unfrozen like this, um, yeah, it sort of limits limits the width. But 
you know, we've got a nice view down the waterfall, which is, uh, which is what I was after. Right, I think we may need some more logs for Kelvin because he's slowing down again. So we're gonna get we're gonna get him from this side. That's that one. Just get rid of some of these bushes as well. So if anyone tries to sneak up on us, yeah, we, they won't be sneaking up on us. So we'll just get a couple more knocked down for uh, old mate Kelvin. It's that one. This one looks like it's quite tall. bit closer for him. I'm very courteous like that to uh to Kelvin. <laughs> Cause normally I'm calling hell out of him, which is a bit weird. I'm trying to I'm trying to make, remain positive. But yeah we're running real low on stamina. We should make like a bench or something. Can recover some uh, some comfort because at the moment the uh, that's what the moon is that I keep calling it's your comfort level and that's what's uh, that's what's suffering at the minute we just got up to 18 strength that's incredible we're flying through the strength levels I just got no stamina at the minute which is really annoying me Probably doesn't help that I try and sprint everywhere. Go, a couple more. Right, that'll do for him. He can get the rest. Yeah, back to zero stamina again. Just gonna have to walk up here until we get a little bit more. It, like I say, it's because we've got we've got really low comfort level, which is another reason to get the house built as quickly as possible. Because your com comfort level, I'm pretty sure, impacts your stamina regeneration. So if we can get nice and comfortable, which is why it'd be, uh, it'd be worthwhile taking a trip down to the airfield over there to get the leather jacket because I think that's got better comfort um, rating than, uh, than the tactical gear that we've got on at the minute. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, we're nearly done with the walls. We've only got a few more to go. I really do not get why we can't um, split the logs as well and do panelling. It's always baffled me why it has to be uh, solid logs because like, all of this so far is way over 200 logs. Way over. Tiny stones. Right, uh, we're out of logs. Oh, a moose. That'd be loads of food if we, could, if we, uh, if we hunted it. I want to say hunted. Probably a better word to use. Here we go. Alright, let's see if we can get a couple more. Couple more trees. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. No. I've got to do another video where 
I don't have a door to run into. I don't want that. Loads of sticks and uh, I never uh, emptied my inventory. All right, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a bench or a chair. Let's make a chair. Uh, so I want the door. Don't matter. We can move the chair. A simple stick chair to recover some comfort level while Kelvin get, get some logs. But yeah, I think we'll um, we'll get this we'll get this last bit put in. There we go. And then realistically we're gonna have to end the uh, end the episode here. because uh, we're running out of time. I'm not gonna get enough time to make the uh, make the roof this episode, which is a big shame. But um it is what it is. We've run out of time. No time left. So thank you ever so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to get this house finished. We're definitely going to get it done next episode. Then we can get some rain catches up. And I can show you what I want to do going outwards uh, from here. So uh, stick around or come back. Whatever. <laughs> you know, depending on when you're watching this. Stay tuned for the next episode. And... I'll see you then. So thank you again for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. Let me know you enjoyed the content. And hopefully it gets it out there to more people as well that might enjoy my videos. Um, if you've got any suggestions or, you know, let me know what you think of the uh, the place that we're building in. Uh, tell me, you know, if you, if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, you know, I, I give you guys a, a choice of where, where you'd want to set up. Uh, where you'd want to set up your base. Uh, so, yeah, let me know down in the comments. And um, we're still trying to get to 500 subscribers. Really need your guys' help to get there. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's been it's been a, amazing so far. You guys, I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing. But if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and help me get there. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye now. I think we'll just have to sit in this chair to end the episode. <laughs> just watch Kelvin. <laughs>